Hello there, my name's Jamie, I'm the heating guy, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to save money on your gas bills, I'm going to be teaching you how to reduce your carbon footprint, and I'm going to help you keep your house at a much nicer temperature. Um, so I'm going to do this in less than three minutes as well hopefully, so it's worth watching the video and just giving me that time. Uh, so the, the best way that I can teach you to do this, the fastest, cheapest way of doing this, is by understanding what temperature your boiler's thermostat should be set to. It's a very common question that pops up after we've installed a boiler, so I thought it'd be worth sharing it with everyone. Um, but there's a couple of principles that you need to understand, and I'm gonna try and avoid going into like in-depth science here. I'm just gonna skim over the top. And they are, number one, when it's colder outside, your radiator temperatures need to be higher, okay? Because the heat is gonna try and escape that room quicker when it's colder outside. So obviously, you know, in autumn and early winter when it's quite mild, your radiator temperatures need to be at a lower temperature. That's that's principle number one. Principle number two is condensing combi boilers, or condensing boilers for that matter. Um, we'll go into that in a little bit more detail in a sec. Condensing combi boilers will come out of what we call condensing mode above a certain temperature. So then it's no longer running at the, you know, the 90 odd percent efficiency ratings that, you know, are, are, are on the boiler's um, data badge. So what temperature, there's no point me saying to you, look, it's this temperature because it's a variable thing. Now, if you've got a condensing combi boiler, so if you don't have a hot water tank and you've got a white plastic pipe coming out the bottom of your boiler, then this rule is going to apply to you. I would recommend most of the year your boiler temperature should be set to about 55 degrees and that's going to keep the boiler in its like maximum condensing mode so it's going to be extracting a lot of heat that normally gets let out of the flue um, and making use of that and putting it back into the heating system so 55 degrees is a good temperature but as it gets into like the, the deeper aspect, like the deeper part of winter, you're going to need to ramp that up a little bit, um, and you know, and and uh, you know, compensate for that like extra heat loss. And this is all going to depend on how big your radiators are and all this kind of stuff. But as a rule of thumb, you just turn it up by about 10 degrees, and that should see you through. Um, now, the aim of the game is to produce enough heat to actually get the room to the, the temperature that you want, um, and not produce too much heat. So you end up like going over the temperature that you want. That's not the aim of the game. So it's about getting it just right. So it's a case of just uh, adjusting it here and there. Now, if you don't have a combi boiler, then ignore what I'm saying, all right? The minimum that you really want to be is about 65 degrees because we need extra heat to heat your hot water up to at least 55 degrees. Um, and if you've got a non-condensing boiler, so if you don't have a plastic pipe coming out of the, out of the uh, boiler, then yeah, do not put your boiler below 55 degrees because you do not want to encourage any kind of condensation in that boiler because it will rust away. It's not designed to cope with any, any condensation. So that's me just giving you a quick three minute video on what temperature your boiler's thermostat should be set to. If you want to know more information, uh, then by all means get in touch. I'll be happy to, to help guide you through that. You've been watching Jamie, the heating guy. Thanks for your time and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.